Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to our channel. I look like trash today. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't sleep well. But we just went to Target and got groceries, and we also went to Publix. So I figured I'd do another grocery haul and show you guys everything that we got. So first things first, they officially were putting out Easter stuff. So we got some of the Target brand Archer Farms limited edition bunny bait trail mix. Um, they do these for like all the holidays. The best one is the reindeer one, which I think might be in another haul video of mine. But these are, this is the bunny bait one for Easter. And then I got some medium shells from Target. And then these were all on sale for like a dollar each, I think. Normally we get the trio for $3.29. So this made it a little cheaper. Um, we got a zucchini and some spinach because I'm going to be making some cream spinach mac and cheese. We got Mexican style cheese, shredded cheese for enchiladas. We got shredded gouda and some extra sharp white cheddar. We also got, you'll see us, we get this a lot. We got non bread. Whatever we don't eat of it, because that's like a ton, it's the family size six pack, we freeze it and then thaw it out when we need it. We got some reduced sodium chicken broth. We got peas and carrots for Milo and peach chunks for him, which I feel like I'm gonna have to cut these up even more. Um, some spaghettios to always have on hand for the girls when they get picky. Some cream of mushroom. Some petite diced tomatoes. Some organic unsweetened coconut milk. And we're making enchiladas. So we got, I think, three red enchilada sauce and then one green and target doesn't make the green so we had to get the old el paso some diced green chilies we got some less sodium soy sauce some thai kitchen red curry paste uh, we always get spam we lived in hawaii for too long but zach didn't he just lived in guam but yeah we we like our spam don't judge us some lime juice, some Target brand Market Pantry breadcrumbs, some Target sour cream, got some more whole milk, because the girls have actually started drinking milk. Um, but, so yeah, so we have one that we just got in the fridge, but since they've started drinking it, and I needed it for the um, mac and cheese. I went ahead and got another small one. And then we got, we are huge fans of Chobani. Again, you'll know that if you've seen any of our other hauls. But this is the Chobani Flip Edition Almond Coco Loco. For coffee creamer. I think we got that from Publix. And then some cold brew coffee without any creamer in it. And then, so we went to Publix for the rotisserie that we got that I'll show you guys in a minute. And these are my all-time favorite because I love the creamer so much. They just came out with this, which is the Chobani cold brew with sweet creamer. And Publix right now has it buy one, get one free. So we got four for the price of two. And everybody is always sold out of these. So it was nice to see them again. We got some frozen broccoli florets. These are the girls' newest favorite waffles, and they're hard to find also. So these are the birthday cake ones. When you put them in the toaster, it smells just like you have like birthday cake. I know it's not the healthiest, but whatever. And then they also, Ivy wanted to try these unicorn cotton candy ones. I don't know about that. We haven't tried those yet, but I know these ones smell really good. And I got these for me which are the sous vide egg bites. And it's kind of like the ones that you can get from Starbucks. And it's like the same exact flavor as the bacon and Swiss, I thought. So yeah, I figured I'd give that a try. Zach picked out some Go-Gurt Dunkaroos. Cause he likes Dunkaroos. Um, these were at Publix too for buy one, get one. This is the nature's own thick slice white. 
And then we got Mott's was buy one, get one free. So we got apple mango. And then we got the Mott's for Tots fruit punch. Some carrots, which I just now realized should have gone over there. Oh well. And some onions. I'm not going to take out of the bag. Here's our rotisserie, which is what we do for our enchiladas. We shred up rotisserie chicken. And then we also got some chicken and some turkey. Nobody cares to look at those, so don't worry about it. And then our Dyson vacuum is broken, so I needed some super glue to try to reattach the piece. All right, so I also always have to get baby food. So I don't know if you guys have seen the news, but right now a lot of companies are under fire for heavy metals found in their, what is that? It's like a bruise. Hmm. Um, anyway, for heavy metals being found in their baby food. So I decided to get a couple that I haven't gotten before. And then, um, yeah. I'll so show you I got these once upon a farm ones and they are in the refrigerated section of Target um, near the refrigerated like kimchi, salad dressings and stuff. But we tried the, I got all the fruit and veggie ones, I think. So this one's wild rumpus avocado, and it's got pineapple, banana, avocado, and mint. And these are all from Milo, by the way. And this is the mama bear blueberry. There's apple, sweet potato, blueberry, and coconut milk. And they get crazy. Up in this one, oh my mega veggie. Apple, carrot, beet, ginger, and flax seed. Yes, one is the oh yeah, raspberry vanilla, which has pear, raspberry, pumpkin seed, date, beet, flax seed, and vanilla. Oh, cool! It shows you on the back too. Ew, that looks so gross, but I mean, if it's good, um, yeah, and it says it's cold pressed. I think this is the one that like Gwyneth Paltrow supports, isn't it? I don't know. Somebody made something like that. But anyway, this is the sunshiny strawberry patch. Just strawberry, butternut squash, which Milo hates. Coconut milk, date, dragon fruit, and vanilla. Um, so I don't think these are just like particularly baby food. But I think anybody can eat them. But I'm going to use it as baby food. And hopefully Milo will like them. Unless, I don't know, maybe I'll research it first. And then some baby yogurt. And that's it.